and welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video, I'm gonna paint t-shirts for Hogwarts houses. And I wasn't planning to make this video, but uh, Harry Potter has been a huge trend lately, especially on TikTok. And those videos where people make modern outfits for Hogwarts houses just made me change all my plans and grab t-shirts because I have to do it. It's so interesting. I have to create artistic version of this trend and create modern t-shirts for Hogwarts houses. For now I decided to paint two t-shirts for house Gryffindor and Slytherin and let's see how it will turn out. Let's get started. And first t-shirt which I'm gonna paint is for House Gryffindor. And as we know, uh, the logo of House Gryffindor is Lion, Lion's side view. Uh, but I want to change Lion's position a bit from such position to such position. <laughs> and here is sketch. As you can see, I want to paint Lion in motion. Uh, like it is ready to fight, it's jumping and it's very aggressive. As I paint t-shirts for two houses, Gryffindor and Slytherin, I decided to add extra idea and connect t-shirts. Uh, so I want to show uh, this kind of a confrontation between two houses. So on my t-shirts, a lion and snake will attack each other. <laughs> And as you can see, first I uh, create a quick sketch with pencil, uh, just a couple of lines to understand uh, where I will place lion, how big it will be. And now I'm outlining lion with a dark brown color. And for painting, I'm gonna use Gryffindor House colors. Uh, I'm gonna use a lot of yellow for lion, and for the background, I'm gonna use uh, red and blue to create such a dark red color, the color of House Gryffindor. As I said at the beginning of the video, I want to create modern t-shirts, like what uh, Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy would have worn if they were a modern person. <laughs> I don't want to paint anything specific from Harry Potter's story, uh, like logos of houses, uh, names of houses or any image of any character. Um, I want to create t-shirts which will be just in houses aesthetic. So I'm painting uh, animals, I'm using colors of houses. And as you can see, I'm using a lot of yellow, especially for lion's mane. Uh, and uh, for the paws, I'm using brown, a bit blue. <laughs> I don't want to make lion too yellow, you know. Well, painting of line is finished and it's pretty cool, but as you can see, it kind of frizzed. It doesn't have energy and I want to paint this energy. So I'm gonna create background uh, to create effect of movement. I'm gonna use red color. I decided to mix it with brown to create a uh, Gryffindor red color. And I'm making strokes in the direction of lion's movement. Thank you. 
and of course, of course, my favorite paint splashes. Well, uh, painting Gryffindor t-shirt is finished and now it's time to paint Slytherin t-shirt. And I definitely have some Slytherin part inside of me because I love to paint snakes and I don't afraid of them. And I'm like a professional snakes artist on clothes. Let me show you my iconic designs with snakes on shirts. So I'm pretty excited to paint snake again, uh, this time green snake. So let's do it! And here is sketch. Uh, as line moves from right to left, a snake will move from left to right to attack the lion. And again, first I'm sketching with pencil. And now let's paint. And of course, I'm gonna use green color for painting snake. Uh, green color is the main color of house Slytherin. And here are a couple of tips of painting snakes from professional snakes artist. <laughs> First, you outline snake with its color. If you paint red snake, outline with red color. If you paint green snake, outline with green color and so on. And then fill in a snake with different shades of its color. Uh, I'm painting green snake, so I'm filling it in with different shades of green. Uh, to create shadow, I'm mixing green with blue color. To create light, I'm mixing green with yellow and a bit white. And that is how it works. <laughs> And the last step and most important one is painting snake scales. But again, you can't use just one color to paint them because in the shadow they are darker, in the light they are lighter, in some places they disappear, in some places they shine because a, a snake skin is very shiny. Yeah, the secret of painting beautiful realistic snake is in understanding how to paint its scales. Painting of snake is finished and I love how it turned out. And now again it's time to paint snake's energy. Let's make it attack. The second Slytherin color is silver or grey. 
Uh, so I'm gonna use a black color uh, and I'm gonna mix it with water uh, to create such a gray color and uh, again I'm gonna make strokes in the direction of snake movement and these strokes will look like some dark energy <laughs> I love, love, love how these t-shirts turned out. It's like a real battle between two houses. <laughs> and now is the last thing which I'm gonna do. I decided to add more references to the houses and right houses qualities on the sleeves. Well, it was very fun experience designing t-shirts for Harry Potter houses and don't know should I make one more video and design t-shirts for other houses as well. Actually I already see a Ravenclaw t-shirt. It would be so beautiful. But future of that video is in your hands. If you want me to make it, uh, smash that like button and write a comment that you want to see it and I will make it. <laughs> and if you are new here, subscribe to my channel for more painting on close videos. And here is the final result. Mm -hmm.